we made pretty close to 500 horsepower and that was in a three litre diesel. And I did that as a point to prove at the time to people that the, everyone was like, no, they'll blow up, the motor will fail. I was really fixated on EGTs and everyone was like, hey, if you exceed 600 EGTs for more than 10 seconds, the piston's going to be on the ground. I'm thinking, oh man, I'm crazy because I'm well above that. I was excessively seeing EGTs probably around that 1,000 to 1,100 degrees. Now, that's a lot hotter than what anyone else would say would be right. But there's the reason why that was the case, and that was because my injection that I was spraying was way too long and I didn't have the pump control. So my injection length was so long that I was ending, you know, probably around that 50, 60 degrees after TDC. Even if you come back to getting it close where the EGTs are normal, the combustion chamber, if you're making more power, still has to be hot. Like you're not going to get away from that. So the next Monday morning, I went in and I pulled the whole motor apart because I wanted to see what damage I'd caused. And I ripped the whole motor apart, put it, laid it out on the bench, and it was perfect. There was no problems. It was, it was fine.